Hello, my beloved kin. How are you? Today is a Friday, April 23rd, and uh, this is the reading, the energetic reading of the wave spell of the monkey, which begins tomorrow. So welcome. I hope that you're doing fine. And I'm wondering how has this wave spell that's ending today, the wave spell of the mirror, how is it? being with you is it being kind is it moving a lot energetically and well let me tell you something i'm going to show you something that i forgot to show you the last time that we had a reading and well we have here the sulking matrix all right so these are 260 uh, energetic possibilities of what we're going through normally i do my reading with uh the use of the galactic compass but today i want to share something very special with you which is this we are right in the middle of the Tolkien. If you can see here, there are no galactic activation portals, right? So this is the mystic column. And we are right here in the middle today, here in the cosmic white dog. And tomorrow we will begin the wave spell of the monkey. And precisely we are right now at the heart, at the center of the Tolkien. Now, this, the mystic column, has everything to do with the energy of the Buddha because we have to go in, into this space of nothingness so that we can be able to create something new. So this is the energy that we're going through right now, precisely, right in the middle of it. And as you can see here, uh, there is a bunch of uh, galactic activation portals. We already passed through this. And we have 20 days of no galactic activation portals just like a little bit of a moment of quiet and recharging so that we will be ready for the next one which is going to be um in less than 20 days we're going to go through it again and uh, there are some people who say that instead of being a moment of being quiet and at ease, it has been energetically very challenging and there's a lot of um solar energies that are active right now so maybe that has something to do with that and yeah like right now we are right here this is the energy that we're, we're dealing with and i chose to do the reading for the next wave spell today precisely because we're beginning the new wave spell tomorrow and because we're right in the middle of the Tolkien. so uh today and tomorrow are really good days to just take it easy breathe in relax and and trust the universe with everything that's going on and let me begin uh, with uh, the reading of our wave spell that begins tomorrow. So what is the purpose of this wave spell? The purpose of this wave spell is to attract illusion and magic to transcend. Uh, the, this is the energy of the night. So we can say transcend uh, abundance, but also transcend the, the subconscious mind. So this is quite interesting, right? Uh, what does it mean? What can we do with these energies that we have right here? So normally when the energy of the monkey is around, it means that it's going to be very playful. So maybe crazy things are going to happen. Uh, it's kind of like Mercury retrograde in a way, you know, when things get lost or uh, things just go upside down and you have no answer for anything. That's the energy of the monkey. The monkey comes through to let you know that it's time to play. Don't take things so seriously. Just go with the flow and uh, connect with your inner child. So these 13 days, we are being invited and asked to connect with our inner child to uh, take some time to play. It's really interesting because if you go into nature and you see many different animals, uh, they, they play even when they're adults. And we as humans, we forget to play you know just go out and do monkey stuff in a way you know just uh start dancing start moving jumping up and down running around i don't know anything from that kind of game or even getting together and creating something like um i don't know maybe painting something or uh, playing with a puzzle i don't know the, the possibilities are endless depending on what you want to do now if you have children at home this is a good opportunity to connect with them so that they can remind you what is the energy of your inner child. And I would also um, ask you to take some time to reflect about what did your inner child 
well, not your inner child, but the child in you, the child that you were when you were little. How did you see yourself in the future? Are you that person that you thought you would become? Or are you completely different? And try to connect with the you from the past to see what the adult today can do to make your life even better. That would be more or less what the wave spell is asking us to do. Okay? So tomorrow, it's uh, Saturday the 24th. We have the energies of the monkey. So it's a good day to attract this, this uh, energy of game, illusion, and just have fun. And it's Saturday, so maybe if you're at home, I know the situation, well, everybody should be at home, but uh, but if you're at home and you have children, then get together with them and, and just play with them for a little bit. Or if you don't have children at home, then try to do something that you like to do as a child. It could be just even something as simple as eating a bit of ice cream, preparing some comfort food that you really like, anything that will help you connect with that energy of your inner child. Yeah. And then the next day, this is going to be an interesting day. This is uh, on Sunday, the 25th of April, we have the energy of the human, the human, the lunar human. So what does it mean? It's asking us to challenge our freedom and it's guided by the energy of the sea. Now, this is very interesting. The state of the world right now, it's, it's like so crazy with everything that's going on. And this kid in particular is reminding us about the fight for freedom, the fight for your rights, for your sovereignty. And right now, that is very much challenged in many different ways. I cannot be specific enough right now on what I have on my mind because I want to be censored. <laughs> but uh, just look around at how, how are we acting towards each other, you know? How instead of uh, becoming together one unity, one society, we are being divided over and over again. So the energy on Sunday is reminding us that in order to, to create something that will give you good fruits, which is the energy of the seed right here, then you have to connect as one human kind, human and woman kind, all right? Like we are all one people. Yes, of course, we'll have different experiences, we'll have different backgrounds, different cultures, but in the end, we are all the same basic stuff we all have the same red blood the same kind of bones the same kind of like in in the most inner core of ourselves as humankind we are all very similar we just think that we're different maybe because the color of your skin is a certain color or your eyes and we shouldn't be discriminating against each other because of that it's really sad to see that when there's many of us who dream about world peace and and just going together in a direction that will bring um, a proper life for everybody, that will bring justice, but also love. Love is what's going to help us transcend this paradigm that we're into. So uh, probably uh, this divide is gonna be still very, very much alive during this wave spell. So what you can do to um, counter that energy is See in yourself what are you doing that's making you be polarized against others. What is dividing yourself? Are you being congruent with what you want to do and what you are doing? With that you help a lot. If you're in peace, if you're at peace with yourself, then you can radiate the peace around you. So that is what you can do as a planetary service. So if this happens, then don't freak out. It's part of the awakening in a way. This crisis come around so that we can realize that things are not going as well as we we think they should be or they uh, or we imagine them to be, but we have an opportunity to correct whatever is wrong. All right. Then the next day, this is a uh, Monday, the twenty sixth of um, April. We have the energy of the Red Skywalker with the electric tone and. Precisely the electric tone is a tone of service, but also like getting people together. Mm -hmm. And it's guided by the energy of the earth, the red earth. So we're being asked to go beyond what is normal for us, to try to see what others are doing and try to help them and try to 
make things in a different way, explore new ways to do new things, and that's going to bring us evolution. So just try to uh, build bridges, you know, make our tables larger so that everybody can come around and share. So this is very important to do. All right. Then the next day, uh, this is on, I have my little, <laughs> because if not, I forget the date. So uh, this is on uh, Tuesday, the 27th of April. We have the energy of the wizard, the white self-existing wizard guided by uh, the dog. So what does this mean? The wizard talks to, uh, about magic, of course, but he also talks, of, or he or she, because it could be also a she, of course, this is energy that is both masculine and feminine. So uh, the wizard is asking us to close our eyes to apparent chaos and open our eyes to magic and how are we are we going to do it precisely connecting uh, with the energy of the dog which is unconditional love so if you want to bring magic into your life you have to believe it and how are you going to believe it you're going to believe it when you start feeling it so have a clear intention with an elevated emotion and then magic will start happening it doesn't matter what the apparent chaos is out there I know it's not easy, but we can't stop dreaming of creating a better future, individually and collectively both. And they shouldn't crash one with the other. We all should be going uh, towards the same direction, which is everybody's well-being, every sentient living being on this earth. You know, yesterday was Earth Day, and uh, people are saying, oh, every day should be Earth Day. Okay, what are you doing to make this earth a better place? It can be as simple as choosing different kinds of materials. If you know that you're going to buy something that cannot be recycled and you have other options where you can recycle, then choose the other one. Separate your garbage. Uh, try to save water. Try to eat uh, less meat uh, just for the impact of it. I'm not saying you to stop eating meat. I eat meat myself, not so much uh, as other people do. I like to eat a lot of vegetables, but uh, just try to uh, reduce what you are uh, contributing to the pollution of the planet. If you can walk, walk. Anything that you can think of, okay? That is what you can do to help bring the magic into the world. And that is a way to love the planet and to love yourself as well. Every day, every day, not just on Earth Day. And, and I know a lot of people just post stuff on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, just stating, oh, I love the earth. Okay, but we got to start walking our talk. You know what I mean? So make sure that you're st starting to do different things. And that's how you're going to be creating uh, magic in your life. All right. Then the next day we have the energies of the... Um, let me see, this is a uh, tone 5, so oh, this is Wednesday the 28th of April. And we have the overtone eagle, blue eagle, guided by the night. Overtone is the empowering tone, and the eagle is the planetary service, but also your vision. I was just telling you, if you have a clear intention or vision with an elevated emotion, then that is a formula for co-creation. And this is Dr. Joe Dispenza who is teaching this. So... In these days, how are you going to empower your vision of what you want to co-create in your life? And this is guided by the energy of precisely the night. So the night is your dreams. Coming back, this is the energy of the monkey. Like, what are your re real dreams? Like, think like a child. It's like when a child is uh, expecting Santa to come home. Uh, the child does not, they, they don't have any question that Santa is going to come. Maybe Santa's not going to bring whatever the child asked for, but th that child can be sure there will be something for him or for her waiting for them when they wake up on Christmas morning. This is an example. I mean, you can choose whatever other kinds of magic that you culturally believe in or that you know about. This is just an example to say we know that that is going to come. So in, in this case, go back to this little child and start dreaming and just... Throw it into the universe and just let, let the universe surprise you, okay? Have the most elevated vision possible. 
of what you want to create okay then the next day and uh, this is a friday the 30th of april last day of the month of april we have here the energies of the uh, yellow rhythmic warrior guided by itself so this day you might have a little bit of a crisis because uh, the um, rhythmic tone is just going to try to balance things that are not balanced. So if there's things that you, that's not in order in your life, these uh, these days energies it's going to bring this. Uh, they're going to bring it up to your uh, consciousness. Okay, what is not going right in your life, and you're going to start maybe questioning yourself many things. You might question yourself about the, the job that you have. Are you happy where you are? Do you agree what the situation you're in is like? Uh, your relationships with your family, friends, co-workers, whatever. You're going to start wondering because right now what's happening is that many of us uh, are being asked by our souls to do something different. We cannot continue with the same paradigm. So maybe you're going to have a little bit of a crisis here on this day. Uh, because your soul is gonna want adventure your soul is gonna say hey I came to this earth you know I came uh, and took a body to be able to uh, experience life to experience this dimension and you're just asleep watching Netflix all the time or you're stuck to your Facebook or your Twitter or your WhatsApp or your Instagram you're stuck there all the time and what are, what kind of adventures do we have for each other so maybe this day is going to bring you some sort of crisis. So don't worry. Just listen to your soul, to your spirit. And start making little changes. I know the things that we're living through right now, it's not easy. There's many things like probably in other times, if you were in a crisis, you would say, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to go away for a few days, take a vacation or whatever. It's really hard to do that right now. I understand. But maybe you can start doing small changes around you. And that's going to bring balance uh, to your life, okay? Or you can take this day as well to just do some cleaning, some spring cleaning if you're in the northern hemisphere, or just some cleaning before the winter comes if you're on the southern hemisphere, you know? So just go with the flow. Use this energy to your advantage. Don't let it just, like, hit you. Go with it. And if there's something you need to let go of, this is a good day. There's going to be another one over here. And I'm about to talk about it in a moment. But this is a good day to start removing or letting go of the things that you don't really want in your life anymore. Okay? Ooh, we're coming into a very interesting energy here. These two right here. Okay? So this is right the center of the wave spell of the monkey. And we have, this is on um, Friday. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this was, I'm sorry, this, is, this was on Thursday the 29th. I'm sorry, I got the, the, the date wrong. The energy for this one is on uh, Thursday, the 29th of April. And this is Friday, the 30th of April, last day of April. I'm sorry, I just got confused here with... I'm getting used to my new technology, speaking of technology. This is the energy of a monkey, I'm telling you. Uh, distracting me, you know. Uh, I'm getting used to this new stuff. Uh, to be doing my uh, broadcast so I'm really sorry <laughs> for the confusion but I stand corrected so repeating this is the energy for uh, Thursday the 29th and this is the energy for Friday the 30th of April and it's right in the middle of the wave spell and we have the energy of the earth red resonant earth guided by the moon why is this special well these two because the next one is the archetype of Excalibur you know, the magical sword from uh, Camelot and King Arthur. I'm going to speak about that archetype in a moment here. But this is precisely the stone where Excalibur was waiting for Arthur to come and pick it up. Kind of like Thor with his hammer. Only the worthy one could take it. Well, this represents uh, the center of the earth, you know. Uh, and there is this energy, the Lord the Abutikaf the lord the center that has this, the energy of the center of the earth and it represents the stone where the sword is waiting for arthur and what does this mean here what is going on energetically first of all it's an energy that is very connected not only to mother earth of course 
but feminine energies of the moon, which is also, we were talking about flowing, going with the flow, right? So this is the energy of the moon. Just letting these waters of emotion come through you and guide you for your evolution. And the resonant tone is talking about channeling these energies of emotion so that you can move forward in your life and have an advancement and a change. Connect with your emotions, connect with your, open your heart to creating, open your heart to love, to healing. You know, there's, I used to love Brian Adams many years ago, right now, not so much, <laughs> I've matured a little bit, I guess, but there is this beautiful song that he sings and he says, they say that the heart is like a, a closed fist, you know, holding in its feelings, but actually it should be like an open heart, holding out and healing. I love it. It's really beautiful. So if you have your heart like this closed, then you cannot heal. You have to open your heart and you have to let others come and also touch you. Okay. And it can be anybody, friends, family, even your pets. All right. So this energy reminds us of that. You have to open yourself to the love of the universe. It's there for you. It's waiting for you. Are you going to take it? It's up to you. Now, let's move to the next day. This is the first day of, of uh, May. Beltane energies. I mean, I love this synchronicity because we have two very interesting archetypal energies. One is Beltane, which is the middle point between the beginning of spring and then uh, when the, the moment of summer is coming. So we're starting to have so much energy to start creating and uh, this talks about the sacred marriage between the goddess and the land or the goddess and the king. Uh, if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, these archety archetypal energies, then watch uh, the movie The Mists of Avalon with Juliana Margulis, Angelica Houston, and I can't remember who else is on it, but it's a beautiful movie from the early 2000s or maybe late 1999, I can't remember exactly what year it is, uh, but go watch it, please, because then you will understand what I'm talking about. So we have uh, Beltane, which is this energy to create, very strong archetypal energy, the bonfires, the fires of creation, of sexuality, of uh, fertility, that is starting to be showing around uh, in nature in the Northern Hemisphere. And on the other side, we have Excalibur here. And it's precisely, it has to be in the center of the Tolkien, as I was telling you earlier. So we have the energy of the mirror, the white galactic mirror guided by the white wind. So the wind represents the spirit. And the mirror is also the sword. The sword is going to cut through all the crap, <laughs> cut through everything that is not good in your life. And the galactic tone brings harmony to your life as well. So this means that this, ha this is a great opportunity for you to think about this sword, to start discriminating in what is good and what is not good in my life. Start cutting energetic cords, get rid of what you don't want, connect with magic, connect with your spirit. Your spirit is calling for you. Your spirit is calling you to go into the unknown and go to the adventure. Will you take the sword and listen? That's up to you as well. Okay. So this is, uh, I repeat, on Saturday uh, the 1st. Okay. And on this day, actually, we are finishing with the energies of the uh, planetary moon of the dog. Okay. Now we're moving on to a new moon, the spectral uh, moon of the serpent. I will do a little video uh, in the coming days to explain to you what's going to be like this energy of that moon in particular. And we're beginning uh, the spectral uh, moon with the energy of the blue solar storm guided by none other than uh, the eagle on um, May the 2nd. This is Sunday, May the 2nd. Okay, so the storm is going to bring you change as well. The solar tone is like you have to pull through these changes. That's what it means. Pull through these changes. Come on and let it just like cleanse yourself. 
the water, uh, the the water of, of your emotions and the air that's gonna bring new life into you. And guided by the eagle, as we said, that's the vision. What vision do you want to have to bring this change into your life? What's it gonna be? Okay. And funny enough, it's also the galactic um, kin, the galactic birthday of uh, none other than Lady D, Diana. Mm -hmm. So on this day, we're going to be uh, remembering her energy. And it's very interesting. Maybe some other time I'm going to do a video talking about the British royal family and all the, the energetic connections. We've been working with it on our synchronic mapping course and we're finding so many interesting energetic connections in all of that family there's a lot of karma in that fam family let me tell you that and there's a lot of lessons that are coming along there and they keep continuing doing the same uh, thing over and over and there's many mistakes and they have many opportunities for growth and the system is heavier than the will to change i guess but well on this day we will remember diana and everything she stood for, which was uh, precisely bring this love, you know, around her. She was such a loving person and, and she was in such a need of, of having this love being given to her that as she couldn't find it in her entourage, then what she did was give it to others. And she was a very inspiring person. And she was all about bringing change. That's what I'm telling you. The storm is about bringing change. Now... The question is, how are you going to leave the energy of this day? Like a storm that will make everything green again and it's beautiful, you know, when you're walking in nature and, and it just rains and it's just like <gasps> such a beautiful energy. Do you want that, that kind of storm or do you want one that will be like a hurricane and destroy everything? So manage your emotions the best way you can so that instead of destructing, you will bring life. All right? So, uh, as I said, this is on a Sunday, the 2nd of May. Then we have uh, on Monday, uh, May 3rd. Oh, it's actually the galactic uh, birthday of one of my nieces. I just noticed that she was, she is, I'm sorry, uh, a planetary sun, a yellow planetary sun, guided by none other than uh, the star. So, lots of shining energy here, okay? Planetary tone means manifesting, so manifesting illumination, manifesting beauty and art. It's a beautiful day. If uh, you want to bring forth anything that will bring beauty into your life, you want to start a course or learning something new that's going to empower you to make your life as a work of art, this is a good day to do that, definitely. You can do it alone or with others, as you wish. So I'm repeating, this is on uh, mm, Monday. Uh, Monday, May the 3rd, okay? Ooh, and now, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> For all of us Star, Star Wars lovers, this is very interesting because uh, we have the energies of the red dragon with a spectral tone. So I was telling you, on the, on the rhythmic tone, it starts to move things around, and this day is a day of letting go. Just release anything that is not serving you, and we have the energy of the dragon reminding you, you have to nourish yourself, take care of yourself, take it easy. You have to take some time to relax, take a break. Uh, being like a crazy working zombie, that's not going to help anybody and it can even bring you some um, health problems, health issues. So please take yourself uh, to spaces of just silence, meditate, take a walk if you can, whatever you need to take care of yourself. Even just five minutes a day, it's good to take some time for yourself. Nourish what, what you want, what you need. Go search for it, okay? And anything that is not serving your well-being, this is a good day to just let it go, okay? Then we have uh, May the 5th, okay? For some strange reason, a lot of people think we here in Mexico celebrate Cinco de Mayo like it's like, and no, we don't. That is a Mexican-American thing. <laughs> Okay, we celebrate on Independence Day, which is in September, but I'm sure that a lot of people in the United States are going to be very happy celebrating Cinco de Mayo. So if you're watching me from the States, then uh, enjoy your Cinco de Mayo and drink a little tequila in my name. <laughs> so what
what is going on on Cinco de Mayo? Okay, so this is uh, on Wednesday, and we have the energy of uh, the beautiful, amazing wind. I'm a wind, that's why I'm saying that. <laughs> the white crystal wind guided by none other than the wizard. So this is a day to cooperate with others, to connect. This is a beautiful day, actually, uh, because we are connecting with spirit, but also connecting with magic. So if you believe in rituals, I don't know, to bring happiness or joy or whatever is good for you, a nice meditation, this is a good day to gather with other people or maybe just have a, a little uh, prayer circle, whatever you want to empower those around you, this is a good day to do that. Connect with spirit, connect with magic again. In any way you want to, this is a good day to work with other people. So connect with other people make a space for a round table it doesn't matter if we cannot uh, see each other physically yet but there's zoom there's whatsapp there's like all kinds of things that we can use to connect with, with each other so go for it this is a, a really really beautiful day to work with magic connect with your spirit your higher self anything that is going to bring you closer to who you really are okay and finally we're closing the energies of our wave spell with uh on it, this is Thursday, May the 6th, with the energies of the, uh, the night. Yeah, blue cosmic night guided by the hand. So it is a good day for healing, to bring healing from whatever we have in our subconscious mind. Bring forth our dreams and the abundance of whatever is in our minds. You know, everything begins as an idea. People going to space, um, building uh, whatever is amazing like a tesla car or even just wi-fi or i mean these all of these things begin as an idea okay so this is a good day to transcend your fears and connect with possibilities possibilities that will bring you healing so go within and remember about your dreams this is the most important thing that the whole wave spell is telling you to do how are you going to connect with those dreams from innocence, the innocence from your inner child? It doesn't matter what kind of life you've had. It doesn't matter if you've made mistakes. Uh, it doesn't, nothing matters at all. Look how many people we know that have been like living on the streets, that have lost everything and they get back on their feet and they go and conquer the world over and over again. You can do it. If others have done it, then you can do it too. So what is it that you desire as lucifer says you know on that netflix series which i love by the way what is it that you desire what will bring you fulfillment and healing think about it this is a good wave spell to start working on that and try to put intentions set intentions on what you want to do because we have the belting portal coming on may the 1st so this is a good day to set your intentions for what you want to create during this moment of the year. What is it that you want to do? Who do you want to become? And will you let the old you drag you? No, that's experience. The only thing that the past has for you is experience. That's it. There's nothing uh, in the past other than experience for you. So don't be hard on yourself if you made mistakes. Like we all make mistakes, but we all learn from it if we wish to. So that's what the monk is asking you to do. All right? So again, the idea is to attract illusion and magic to transcend the, the dreams that you have. Make them come true and that will bring you healing, right? Well, I hope that you like the reading for our wave spell of the monkey. Yes, the energies are like super, super high right now. We have to be very patient. Just breathe and take it easy. Okay, one day at a time, that's the most important thing. And if you're watching me here on Instagram, remember to share with your other friends and anything that is being said here that can be helpful for others, go and share. If you're watching us on YouTube, remember to subscribe to our channel and uh, click on the little uh, bell so that anytime that we are posting new videos then you will know what we're doing. If you like what we are doing, and you want to uh, help us to create more free content, then we have a PayPal um, account. I'm going to share the details with you in the comments. 
and what else oh of course we have a uh, synchronic coaching so if you want to know like this energy is for you how it works uh what's going on with you energy wise with this code with the synchronic codes then you can contact me and we can have a zoom session and have a special reading for you i'm also doing therapeutic tarot readings with the oracle readings from uh, brian frauf which is magical i also work with egyptian tarot also with this skin i have a special set of cards to work with this and also i have the angel oracle so there's many many tools that i'm gonna be sharing with you i'm gonna start creating more content very soon for you oh and if you're on clubhouse please follow me i'm gonna write here in comments how you can find me because i'm going to start actually tomorrow i'm going to start opening some rooms to start talking about this synchronic codes but i'm gonna also be talking about many other things that are gonna help you empower yourself not only from the spiritual or magical uh, side of things but also like more practical things that you can do in your life to make you feel better and it has to do with meditation it has to do with uh, changing your limiting beliefs realizing what your dreams are how you can get there and this is all based in communication pedagogy uh, hermetic studies you can see behind me oh by the way look uh, this is the uh, the banner of peace so I have Pakal Botan over here I have uh, the sun god from the Egyptians, also, of course, I love E.T. <laughs> so I have all of these different um, tools to help you with whatever you're going through. So uh, be sure to, if you're on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. If you're here on Instagram, be sure to follow us. Please share and like. And if you have any comments or any questions, you can also send us any message. And I'm very happy to see your comments and see your questions. And I can also, if you want to see uh, contents with a, a different uh, kind of topic that I can help you with, then you can also propose those topics and I will be here sharing with you. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy this beautiful wave spell. Let me know how it went the next time we see each other. I'm waiting to see your comments. Thank you so much. And see you uh, for the next reading. We will see each other probably, yep, uh, Friday, May the 7th, for the reading of, ooh, this is interesting, of course. We are going to be going through the uh, wave spell of none other than the, uh, the seed. This is the fractal of the 144,000 warriors of light. So this is going to be a very special wave spell as well. So I'm going to see you Friday, May the 7th. I'm going to be posting here the time and reminder. Take care, everybody. Have a happy wave spell, my beloved team.